Hi, what's up, Matthias here. I often get the question how to convert audio to MIDI. Now, some of the dolls have this functionality built in, but uh, most of them don't. But fear not, now we have this free plugin called Neural Note. And the best part of this plugin is that it's free. It can handle polyphonic instruments, any type of tonal instrument like uh, singing, voice, uh, guitar and synths. And it can also handle the pitch bands. And the best part, it's a super quick plugin to work with. And I'd like to thank Polarity for mentioning this plugin. But I feel that a lot more people should know about this excellent plugin. Because this is such a common question audio to MIDI. So without further ado, let's take the tour. Right, so first we need to go to the Neural Note GitHub to download the plugins. And I put the link in the description so you can quickly find this website. Then you click on the releases. And uh, there's currently no installer, no real installer for the plugins, but uh, you can download any of these packages depending on what uh, plugin type you want. So there's uh, audio units, standalone and VST3. And depending on what type of OS you have. So for me, I go for the Neural Note VST3 Mac OS zip. And then you just unzip the package and move the plugin to the appropriate folder on your OS. Then we go into our DAW and uh, create an instrument track. We're currently here in Bitwig Studio, which is uh, one of my favorite DAWs or music applications. And then we add Neural Note as a plugin. Right, so there we have the Neural Note plugin. And it's a pretty straightforward interface. You can uh, press the record button here and uh, play any type of audio in the background of the track. And uh, the plugin will analyze in in real time while you play the, the audio. But you can also drag and drop audio files. So let's maybe take this guitar loop. Drag it like so. So you see how quickly uh, Neural Note analyzed the uh, audio file and created the MIDI for us. Let's drag down the split sensibility a little bit. Now to export the MIDI from a Neural Note into some software instrument track, you just press this drag the MIDI file from here and put it on an empty track in our draw. And we get to import the tempo and time signature if you want. But let's press no. And let's see how the MIDI looks. Now if you notice there are some uh, notes that shouldn't be there, we can just delete those. And also replace that uh, horrible organ with some more sensible instrument uh, from Omnisphere. And call up some guitar patch. You see how close that is to uh, the actual real audio recording? That's like the super quick conversion from uh, audio to MIDI and uh, polyphonic. So now we're playing those two together at the same time. I also tried some custom guitar recordings to do some pitch bands and stuff, recorded via the Deco Strymon. So let's see how a Neural Note handles those uh, guitar phrases. Here we have the first one. Press record again to stop. And we have our MIDI. So let's hear the Neural Note transcription and the original audio at the same time. So that's actually a pretty pretty good uh, translation of some uh, polyphonic playing from uh, the guitar to MIDI. Okay, so how about we try it with some pitch bend? And let's analyze it with Neural Note. So we press record and press play. Let's look at the resulting MIDI and we need to reduce uh, the split sensibility and maybe the note sensibility a little bit. So it actually handled the pitch bend quite well, but uh, it added the pitch bend as uh, separate notes and also made these two notes uh, too short. But you can always go ahead and go back into Neural Note and fiddle with settings to get it more accurate. Mm. 
again, let's make a final example with some uh, finger picking. Deactivate record, and there we have the MIDI. So let's try it with the guitar plugin. So it handled uh, most of the picking quite well, but there's some small adjustments uh, that you need to make to, uh, to the MIDI, but, uh, but as you heard, if you have some really clean uh, audio recordings uh, uh, with some really clean uh, playing or clean notes, it's uh, super accurate, but uh, I could probably get a more accurate transcription from the plugin if I make more adjustments here to note sensibility and other parameters. Uh, you should also notice that you can change uh, the scale quantize here if you know that uh, the particular loop or recording is in a certain key. You can set the key here and set it to major or minor. And uh, make the snapping to remove the notes that's outside the scale or set it to adjust, which will adjust uh, the notes outside the scale into, into the proper scale. And you also have the final option to time quantize uh, the MIDI to a more exact uh, beat. Right, so let's try it with some uh, keyboards. So we can just clean up the middle a little bit. So that's a quite accurate transcription of uh, the melody. Right, so there you have it, the neural note. Never fear converting audio to MIDI ever again. Thanks for watching today. Please let me know in the comments what you think and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.